Good morning. It's 9.36 a.m. It is June 4th. It is Tuesday morning and I'm kind of laughing as, I, um, as I'm making this right now because this is the second time um, I'm making this recording and you know you would think that I'd learned my lesson um, a few times after you know letting my my um, toe hit my um, my keyboard. See I'm sitting Indian style on my bed and my toe is like right next to my keyboard and I this happens all the time and I end up cutting off my recording. But anyway um, I've been doing a lot of thinking, you know, and I think um, I've expressed several times about, you know, my frustration of what's going on with the, um, with the stagnation, the slow, the slow moving and just like, man, it's like, it's really frustrating. But anyway, so of course I have to keep my mind thinking, okay, so I'm trying to, you know, do some intuitive, getting some intuitive messages and, you know, um, yesterday I, uh, you know, I was bored. So I'm trying to shake up my routine a little bit. So there's times where like, you know, if I'm not working on content right now, I'm not going to start working on content until tomorrow. Okay. I wanted to give my, myself these few days off because, um, you know, I, I'm going to be direct about the frustration that was going on with Patreon and, and I'm not blaming Patreon. I'm well, everybody's involved in this. Okay. So I'm just saying is, is that, you know, um, you know, it, it makes sense that, you know, I want to keep my, my, my Swan Swan Manifesto, um, channel with them. I just need to figure out, you know, I, I need to get, taken care of like now I, I i feel like this is this frustra it's extremely frustrating and it's demoralizing and it's affecting my pursuit of happiness so i want to talk a little bit about um uh you know some some of these issues now as i was talking about you know shaking up my routine on the last few days um you know i i don't i watch um a lot of um of uh music videos on youtube right because that I like music for my background and that's that's great right but sometimes you know i i need to step away from music too and want to be visually entertained as well as um you know audibly entertained so um i i decided to check out some more of those readings on youtube um and there, i i'm going to tell you what now um i don't want anybody who who was a reader to ever feel intimidated by me because I've been getting like some messages from some of these guys who do tarot readings on YouTube that there some people feel intimidated by me. I am not really somebody who's focused mainly on tarot readings or anything like that. Mainly I'm kind of shaking up the occult scene a little bit more and just kind of giving people a little bit of a variety of of what the occult is about. And so encouraging people to like gravitate towards their niche and also recognize their everyday life can be incorporated with the occult and chances are some of the things they already do originated in the occult so i'm just basically uh, don't feel that i really the reason why i kick back and watch a lot of these tarot readers is because they're damn fucking good they're good at what they do um, I think with a the special thing about some of these tarot readers because they're this is their specialty is the fact that they are great storytellers as they are reading the cards. Okay, and this to me is a wonderful gift. Okay, and these people are mediums. Okay, uh, which is a special gift. So I am in no way trying to compete with any of them. Okay, I find their some of these readers are like I really find them great and enjoyable and some some people will say well maria if you're psychic and you're also um you read your own cards why would you even bother doing that well i'll tell you it's because i know a lot of people are talking about me right now and i know that they are and um and um and you know the thing is like i shut a lot of things out like for example libra 14 i didn't want to have to deal with thinking about me having to communicate with him and thinking and thinking that he was a perp i didn't want to have to mind tap him i could easily do it if i wanted to or i could wait around for that intuitive message if it gets to the point of where i feel like my life is threatened and i felt like my life was starting to get threatened okay so in this case you know um sometimes if you don't want to you you don't want to like or you're you're just somebody you're fixated on something just one thing and you only care about that one thing and you're you're just focused on that while other people because people are already talking about you they're they're digging into other things and it's surfacing around and you're not even paying attention to it okay 
So, or you don't even care, but it's interesting to hear it coming from their mouth anyway. So it's just nice to get the update, okay? So, <laughs> so I appreciate these, uh, these gifted people and I'm not, I'm basically talking about, you know, recipes and stuff like that. And, you know, actually there's some of these people that I wouldn't even mind having them on my show, to be honest with you. Right. So, um, no, I, I don't, I don't have that at all. Um, I did say, you know, want to talk about um, some of the intuitive messages that I'm getting. Um, I think a lot of people are interested in my political views. And, you know, um, like I said, you know, I'm not somebody who wants to be involved in politics in any way. Um, but I obviously do have my opinions about politics. And, um, you know, I think I had mentioned that because um, I got this from I got this from. Uh, one of the readings, um, I don't know who it was, but there was a few different people mentioning that, okay, about politics or whatever. Okay, I am not a political person. What I mean by that is I'm not somebody who, who you know, votes. I'm not somebody who plays a, an active role, but I am somebody who understands that I do have natural rights and I do have rights that um, are coincide with the law, which I'm going to go into that in just a minute, okay? Um, now, the issues that... Um, <laughs> It got me thinking, you know, so because it's a form of entertainment, right? And not only do I, you know, um, watch some of these people on YouTube with their readings, I also, I also uh, do other things, okay? Like, you know, um, I told you sometimes I, I use the cards myself, okay? And that for many years I stopped using my cards because I have quite a collection of cards, right? I'm sure they have a, they have more, right? But I, um, you know, I, I do other forms of divination, um, or I might, you know, start knitting, or I might delve into another uh, project, you know, and not all of my art relates to the occult, not everything I do relates to the occult, but these are skills that can be, in, you can incorporate into the occult, and I think it's funny that, you know, um, that the tarot readers, it's a form of the occult, Okay, you can call it what you want, but it is a cult. It's the occult. Okay, it is a form of hidden knowledge that people are tapping into. So I am not in any way trying to compete with them. I am a completely on a completely different thing. Okay. Um, anyway, so going back to my um, my my world views, um, I, I did get some some different like in messages from people that they were talking about politics and beliefs and stuff so which made me start thinking about you know um because you know i'm somebody who literally stays in my own lane okay and the funny thing is is that i was not somebody who was active in trying to force my opinion down other people's throats but what happened was is that i am a victim of an experiment okay which means that while I'm sitting here standing, staring, um, staying in my own lane, right? I have people who were observing me, okay? Monitoring me and putting me up in situations where they're like surrounding me, okay? So they're nitpicking me apart and all this other stuff. And I, I, I found the fact that I was being referred to as rebellious, extremely offensive for the simple fact that these are well within my rights. They are well within my rights to be exactly that. So I kind of wanted to go into this a little bit. Now, um, from my observance and my spiritual comfort, I never chose to be active in, in any political arena, but I certainly kept, and I have been keeping my opinions to myself, okay, for the very longest, for the longest time, okay? And like I said, because I think a lot of times when people want to pick political arguments with people, that's exactly what they want to do. It's about power struggle, okay? And one thing as a spiritual principle of mine is something that I do not I do not seek power, meaning I don't feel as though it's necessary for me to do those things. My existence, I believe that oh, we're here for um, our spiritual evolution, which determines how we're going to, if we do choose to come back, are we gonna come back wiser or are you gonna come back in the same mental state that you were before? Are you going to learn from your experience here, correct the behavior so you can elevate the next time around, okay? Or are you going to reach some form of completion? You know what I mean? Um, it, it's important, you know, to, for me to seek that, okay? And it's in my behavior, okay? It is in my behavior, which in some ways kind of is like my form of my own politics, right? Because I see wisdom in staying in my own lane. Now, like I said, the reason why so many people were debating my lifestyle 
talking about it, picking it apart. Not because I was like, you know, on YouTube back in whenever I started my channel, I think in 2008, talking about converting to my religion, my views, or I never said anything like that, okay? But because I was a part of an experiment, like I said, all eyes on Maria, right? So people, when all eyes are on people, people pick that person apart. Now, I operate within the guidelines of the law, and I respect human rights, um, human life in all forms, even those that are directly opposed to my existence. Now, um, I, I've thought a lot about this since I totally am convinced that we're here for our individual evolution, whatever, okay? So, right or wrong, our experiences are lessons. And for, for example, this issue with the white supremacist issue, of me being targeted by the Ku Klux Klan. This is the reason why, you know, I've had problems on social media. This is one of the reasons why. It's, it's so deep, right? It's so deep. But anyway, this is the reason why, you know, um, I was dealing with bullying in the form of genocide that was laid out for me, right? Um, now, <clears throat> for those who hate me, this is a lesson to be learned, okay? For people who have gravitated towards hate groups, and finding comfort in their or their support within their their need to hate and direct this is a lesson for them okay it is a lesson okay so this is something that they can learn they can take a look at Libra 14 and see where that got in right do they want the same fate as Libra 14 obviously they do not okay why because they when you really break it down they're individuals okay they're individuals. They don't want that. What they want is they want power. And how do you seek that power? Well, I'm going to tell you what. You can't really do it in groups. And we, I, I, this is my observation, okay? And you know, like I said, we can talk about sociology. You could say, oh, you're, you don't, you're not a sociologist. You don't have that. You don't need to, okay? It's called observation, okay? So if you really want to, you can conduct your own social studies like I've been doing all my life, right? Which, like I said, you know, hey, I just made that video <laughs> flipping the experiment. Like I said, you know, and people, and this has been noted that I've been talking about my interest in observing human behavior long before I found out that I was somebody who was like possibly, uh, you know, created in a lab and inserted into some sort of turkey baster into my biological mother, okay? This is a fact, okay? I understand these things. Um, and I've learned to accept people and, and I, that they exist, okay? But it becomes a problem when we deal with bullying. And in this case, we're talking about the bullying of like the Ku Klux Klan, okay? So I'm gonna kinda go into that in a minute, okay? But uh, when it comes to this issue, even, okay, I have a very balanced view on our existence, okay? I understand that we are all here to learn something and we are all here for our own individual reasons. So people are going to exist in certain states, certain stages, certain behaviors, certain lesson, levels or whatever for a reason, okay? And I do think that this issue is definitely for some sort of spiritual reason. Um, and it's and it's very eye-opening. Okay, so anyway, I'm kind of going on a script. I'm kind of, kind of combining this because this issue of polit politics kind of came through my mind based off of the readings that I got from some of these tarot readers, right? And I, I want people to understand that I am in no way trying to compete with these people. But like I said, you know, you're there's going to be some people who, who are going to have issues with me. And I know that, um, and that's the way that's life. You know, I mean, this is part of my concept of life here on earth. Our, I do believe, this is my spiritual view, that life here on earth is hell, okay? And our spiritual map and our spiritual goal in my personal belief, which I have the right to have, okay, is that it's our responsibility to keep focused on the light. I don't have time to worry about who I'm competing with or who wants to compete with me. I, this is not my, me, I think. It's always been my spiritual calling to be, you know, an occultist. I'm, I am what I am, okay? Um, so, but I appreciate these, these, these readers and I am in no way, you know, I, I've never said that. In fact, you know, I believe that people should consult forms of divination especially if they're trying to go um, towards a goal. And that was one of the reasons why I gave that lesson. My, and I will say, when it comes to um, readings like that, like t if I was to do a tarot reading, like I cannot do what a lot of these tarot readers do. Some of these, like I said, people are excellent storytellers as they are giving you 
that reading. Okay, I am not somebody like that. I'm going to tell you the definition, then I'll go into my story or whatever. But if you know, I, I don't have the same skill as, as they do when it comes to that. So, you know, whatever. Okay, so um, I have learned to accept that, you know, that we all exist. And um, I'm looking at my script here and it becomes a problem okay it becomes a problem when we deal with bullying that leads to genocide and so um, by the way the right um, okay so I want to talk about the right to live and you know I think we're all familiar with um, the, the pursuit of the happiness I think my spiritual views coincide with the ideas of the life liberty and the pursuit of happiness okay um, chances are you guys remember from school the Declaration of Independence okay um, the pursuit of happiness was a, this phrase was to shed light on our unalienable rights which the Declaration says has been given to all humans by their Creator unalienable rights are separated into two separate rights okay so let's break down those two rights okay so there number one there's natural rights uh, those are um, not dependent on the laws of customs of any particular culture or government. That means that they are universal and fundamental. This can be broken down to things like urges, hobbies, and habits. The recognition of re natural rights makes it so that it cannot be repealed by human law. However, these laws can be forfeited by one's actions such as violating someone else's rights. Okay, so let me explain what that means, okay? Okay, so like, let's just, for example, <laughs> let's just say, for example, I have the right to walk down the street and make, uh, you know, you, you know, you take your, your, your index finger and make that blah, 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 noise, right? I have the right to do that. Okay, I can do this blah, 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 all day long as I walk down the street. It's totally my right. Okay, but, okay. This is where the law comes in. In cases of, because of natural rights, other people have the right to not have to hear it. So if I was to raise the level of my, blah, 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 and I, I intensify it to where everyone in the neighborhood can hear it, it's bothering them and it's becoming a distraction, meaning it's, it's uh, affecting their natural right to have, what do you call it, peace and quiet, right? So this is where we, we um, have this issue of, um, how uh, natural rights makes it so that they cannot be repealed by natural laws. Yes, you have the right to do that, but if you overstep that, like by disrupting the public, okay, by making it too loud. Same thing with music. Like, you know, like I love music, right? And, um, you know, I live in a uh, apartment complex, okay? And how I base, like, and I, I listen to music and I can hear my neighbors listen to music. So in this case, you know, I've heard listening, they're listening to music different times of the night. I don't necessarily mind that, okay? I don't mind it, okay? But let's just say, for example, the neighbor next door, right? I'm listening to music at three o'clock in the morning. Now, obviously i will i base this is how i base when it's inappropriate to just start blaring music okay i would say um anytime after okay i'm respectful of people's work week okay so i'm trying to consider that right i i try to base it off of that if somebody sees me and says hey maria you know i i work in the morning so could you keep that down they have the right to say that why because I, they, they, they deserve the right to be able to sleep. So we need to come to some sort of agreement. You see what I'm saying? So this is the natural law because it's obstructing. This is where it comes to where you are overstepping someone else's right to do their or, or live within their natural rights. Okay. Because now you're obstructing or you're creating problems for each other because it's, it's making too much noise. So this is where we have, you know, you have to use common sense. Okay. Um, in my case, I, I base it off the curfew time, like most of the time, like 10 o'clock at night. I listen to music like pretty much all day. Okay. And I do listen to it at night. Um, and I, I kind of turn it down a little bit lower when it's after 10 o'clock because I figure people do have to go to work. Okay. It's, it's, it's about being considerate. Okay. So I combine this, um, uh, like, you know, these ideas of natural rights along with things like ordinances local state and federal laws okay the other laws would be other law would be the legal rights and those that are bestowed upon us by the legal system these are the operational guidelines 
of the protection of our existence and covers issues such as labor, rights to our religion, issues relating to property, etc. Just about everything that happens can be cate categorized into some sort of grouping of a law. Like it's already been covered most of the time. If you really think about certain issues, like for example, if somebody steals something, that's against the law. Most people should know that, okay? Um, if somebody, um, I mentioned violates a noise ordinance, okay? It's their, it's it's the community's natural right to have peace and quiet. It is, believe it or not, okay? So this is sometimes where you have to sit here and like make compromises, okay? Like it's affecting their ability to, to sleep or something, you know what I mean? So then you have to make those kind of accommodations, all right? Um, but that's pretty much how I live. I, I base my life uh, on these principles. You know, and I operate within the law. Now, okay. Anyway, the Declaration of Independence is widely referenced and seen as inspiration for the basis of government. Um, I believe Canada has a similar statement and they refer to it as the Charter of Rights. Now, going back to this issue of like our natural rights and when people talk about, you know, when the law comes in, <laughs> this is where the law comes in. In this case of natural rights, like in my issue where I was dealing with um, religions that were trying to obstruct my natural rights, we obviously have our um, legal rights that we, we refer to. Um, and um, when we think about our natural rights, I think that sometimes religions uh, try to obstruct, um, obstruct people's natural rights. For example, in my case, um, you know, we, we were talking, let's go back to the whole clothing issue, okay? This is not me picking a fight, but sometimes we get people, this is one of the reasons why um, the United States separated from England. Even though this is not really necessarily an English or American thing, it's more like a universal thing. It deals with people who get jealous, want to bully, or, or uh, try to step on or squash the rights of another human being and this is what i was dealing with so um when it comes to people who want to use religion to obstruct other people's natural rights okay this these are are, are based on our habits our our unalienable rights things that you know it's, it's just stuff that we do like some people might sneeze a certain way or or twitch a certain way or have certain habits ideas thoughts or whatever and they have they're well within their right to do that right so there's always going to be some sort of, you know, conflict or whatever. And this is why I always say, let's break it down to the law. Okay. If, if there's a conflict, chances are it's already written in the law. Okay. And the laws are established for a level of code of conduct based on a lot of times laws get written because some people are either very farsighted. They know the cause and effect of what's going to end up happening. And unfortunately, a lot of laws get put into place after some form of tragedy. Like, you know, they'll, they, they now realize that, you know, kids can't bring guns to school, that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, as silly as it sounds, I mean, when we think about how I'm thinking about like early America, right? About how, how a lot of things weren't really known to a lot of people. You know what I mean? I've seen pictures of people with kids, you know, white riding um, on their bicycles or on tractors, smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, people needed to understand certain things. They needed to be told like, you know, and I smoke cigarettes every once in a while, okay? But you know, the thing is I'm saying is people didn't really understand certain things. They didn't understand like danger, certain information that maybe they should have had, okay? And when knowledge is something that is important because it it allows people to correct their mistake okay so there are certain in my personal belief when it comes to how we behave um stay in i stay in my own lane okay <laughs> i stay in my own lane and um i basically refer to the law uh when it comes to issues that relate to things that that are going to affect other people Okay, so I have every right to live my life. And I know the thing is when you're dealing, this is a part of hell, okay? You can be, obtain a certain level of success and you're always gonna, there's gonna be some people who wanna squash you out, 
talk about you, hate you, uh, want to you know conspire against you, and they're going to do these sort of things. And some of it's a defense mechanism, some of it's a form of whatever. But I understand my rights, my spiritual rights, and I also what I love about the Declaration of Independence is because it recognizes the Creator and it talks about how humans are. These are laws that are based off of the Creator. Like this, the, uh, what we comes to our mind, the things that we that come to our mind, um, it comes to our mind in, in some form because it's it's a part of the creation process. You know what I mean? It's like I see the importance of recognizing, you know, our basic needs and applying it to law. And this is one of the reasons why I have so much respect for the Declaration of Independence, which was the foundation of the establishment of governments that were meant to be built strong you know what i mean and built to really be able to you know accommodate the people okay so the other message i got um i know that you know this they've started this off with like the um the pressure the religious pressure it was a little too much for me but um you know i i i'm hope that people can accept the fact that people do have religious freedoms in this country and any sort of devotion needs to be sincere okay and i felt when i was going to church um that my devotion not to i have always been devoted to you know the creator i've always been devoted to that it's just that you know within group context within maybe some of the ideologies or mainly i think what would turn me off with a lot of the churches was the behavior of the people the hypocrisy that sort of stuff and this is why and of course mind you i am a target i am a targeted individual and um uh you know i've always been in setups and everything it just you know it's just something that really kind of like kind of turned me off but anyway um i'm glad that there's no more pressure of, of that religious issue um i get the intuitive message that people think that i should have two different youtube channels i have not really given it a lot of thought i do know that i need to re-strategize some of my business tactics and my pressure and this is one of the reasons why i needed to talk about um you know what i was experiencing okay i think a lot of the people who got involved in this we're, you know, I'm being honest, you guys, please don't, you know, I'm just not picking a fight, but, you know, kind of like, you know, the, the road to recovery is admitting certain things, okay, and I've been dealing with some narcissistic people, and some people take it when you, when you're trying to explain, um, you know, what's going on and how it's affecting you, they immediately want to get, like, you know, get argument of such, which I sense our um, Libra 14 was kind of like, you know, and the problem with it was is because it was a form of dehumanization but we don't need to go into all of that so anyway back to the two separate channels i do need to re-strategize because of the interruption on patreon please from this point forward please stop doing what you're doing now i understand i'm going to get into some intuitive messages for my celebrity soul drive in just a moment um and i will go a little bit more into um this particular person that i want to address um I understand that I was um, ostracized by the Ku Klux Klan. I kind of think this is kind of a cool story, okay? This is kind of a cool story, and I'll tell you why. Um, because I outsmart you guys. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> you guys really need to come up with a better plan, okay? You guys need to re-strategize, you know, like, figure some, sh some shit out. Because you guys have been using the same tactics. I'm being humorous here seriously but you know really you guys have been using the same tactics for quite a long time you, if I, i'm not saying that you guys should continue your your um your form of terrorism but i do hope that this has opened your eyes okay whether it has opened your eyes or you continue want to be a tyrant please leave my shit alone okay but i will say this i hope that um you know um because I, I get the feeling that a lot of you guys have become my fans and some of you guys are what i consider to be important people right um, I think it's kind of funny that, you know, but <laughs> I, I just think you guys are funny. Okay. I, I do. I think you guys are funny. Anyway. So the next uh, message is I'm going to, I'm just going to go right into the celebrity messages. Okay. Here we go. Wait, let me get a drink of water. Why is thirsty? Cancer 21. Ah, ha ha. Cancer 21. You know who you are. 
you know who you are. Okay, so the message I get from you is, is it create helpers or partners if you want, but I should wait until I get what I'm supposed to be getting from Patreon. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much how it works, uh, mainly because I would choose to handle things up front instead of like, I, you know, you know, a lot of my business ethics, I believe, comes from my experience of being screwed over and watching other people being screwed over and hearing up. So I mean, there's so many stories of the screw over. OK, in so many different ways, I can't even tell you. OK, but I want to do. Uh, I want to do fair business with people and I want to be upfront with people and I want people to feel like my offers are um, in good standing and of good faith and um, it's important that I you know have a cash flow before I do this, this is one of the reasons why I started in um, October okay so um, yeah that's the plan you know I can't really do anything until you know, I start making money and I do understand that you have this, you thought that this was a competition and it's not really a competition. Okay. Um, what it is, it's a form of harassment. Okay. I understand, you know, this is deep because I got this intuitive message that, um, and I might be repeating myself because the intuitive message I got came from like a few different people, but it also is, is, is something that floated around in my mind about, you know, some of these people such as myself, and other people who've kind of had the experience of dealing with odd things like, you know, targeting in the workplace and stuff like this. Um, I, I suspect that some of us are, in your eyes, um, rivals in maybe past lives or something like that to where you feel as though you want to like, kind of bully people from the past or something. Um, and I, I honestly can't see why you'd want to bully me other than your hatred or your association with um, these sort of groups uh, because you're interested in the pursuit of power and your pursuit of power to me is um, I, I understand you're in a position where you you are meant to be powerful okay that's what your 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 title is that's what you're supposed to be I get it I'm not treading on that I wouldn't even dream of, of treading on that or or just respecting that but at the same time I do believe that everybody needs has their place you know what I mean everybody has a place well you know what I've noticed about society is that it's all shaken up it's so shaken up it's not even freaking funny okay like we're talking about people who have literally they have no guidance whatsoever and this is what's like shocking as hell this is a part of my experiment okay um, and, and, and not just me being an ex, um, somebody who's being experimented on by when I was dealing with the Nazi thing. It's, it's just like, it seems to be a problem everywhere where like people want to do things that are not within their role to do so. Like I mentioned like the human resource person who's suddenly a marriage counselor, you know, it's, it's that sort of thing. And, you know, we want to be, I would think if you are a leader, which I'm thinking that this is something that you are right or this is something that you want more of in the in the future I would think that um, and this is me not being disrespectful it's just that you know how okay we, we know that the, the lines of communication are kind of choppy okay so the only way I can talk to you is through this computer making my little videos okay so please you know I'm trying to be as respectful as I can be and let's keep in mind though that given the fact that I've been like treaded on disrespected on and a, 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 what do you call an inhumane experiment was enacted on me um, that's associated with a Nazi which by the guidelines of the law okay we're bringing the law into this is a hate crime okay so in reality um, I should be viewing you as something extremely negative as a matter of fact historically there has been words for people such as what the activity that you were involved in now this is where you can correct your behavior. There's no need to be tyrannical. There is plenty on this world. There's plenty of stuff in this world to go around, okay? You have a title and you have a position that could allow for a lot of good things to happen for people if you direct it correctly and the way that coincide with the needs of the people are, okay? But um, I've never tried to fight against you. 
I have never tried to do that. But what I did speak out was, is the bizarre shit that was going on because it, it, uh, it deviates from what it should be and what our laws cover. Therefore, it set off like red alarms, like what the heck's going on? And like I said, I had no idea how big this really was, but you are correct. This is what is my, my idea is, is that I need money. I'm going back. I'm, I, there's so many things I can like talk about all in one sentence. I could talk, can't I? Anyway, um, yes, the idea is to create helpers, um, but I need my money from, from Patreon first, okay? And, you know, I understand that you kind of see you seem that you were seeing you seemed very like um uh, steadfast in your position to put pressure on people to bully people okay i had made a request about my youtube channel quite a while ago and guess what it, i'm still having skewed numbers now i understand maybe this this state this the way it was configured from the very beginning it may be considered something that's broken meaning like they do this deliberately to where once it's that way it's just that way whatever the case is people feel as though they like me doing my celebrity readings but they also i mean i i you put me in positions where i have to consist constantly have to re-strategize my business model okay and that is offensive and because it violates everything that our laws are written on okay so this is why it, it blew me away and it threw me for a loop when all this was going on and before I even knew that you were involved in it, it, it does. It, this is what happens, okay? So um, I need to get, I need to re-strategize. And yes, I do. I do have the right to make money. And this is not about a power struggle. Now, you may be in a power struggle because you, your family, may have an interest in the occult, okay? The occult is not up for um, competition, okay? And the very, the very fact that people try to squash me out as an occultist, but it's okay for other tar tarot readers to do their stuff. It's okay. I've seen other people like doing candles and stuff like that, okay, on YouTube, you know. Uh, and you're, you've targeted me for a very long time. And I do believe it must have something to do with past life issues, feeling is the need to feel as though you have more. You have more. We know you have more. I've seen pictures of you, you know, being carted around in, in parades and whatever. You know, you, you show up all dressed up into the nines and you're waving at people. I get it. You got more, okay? Wonderful. I'm happy for you, okay? But, you know, I don't need people flaunting it in my face, nor did I ask to be a part of your competition, okay? If you want to win of being the ruler of the earth, you got it. You win. All right, so, um, yes, you have acknowledged that my stuffies are enchanted. Yes, they are. They are enchanted. My, my stuffies are enchanted, and I love every single last one of them. And, um, you know, um, it's a trip because some of these tragic people ended up, like, inhabiting some of my stuff, okay? So I need to do some banishing because I feel as though it's getting a little weird. You know what I mean? Um, apparently, I've had people who, who left this earth feeling very sorry for the shit that they did to me. Okay? They felt very sorry for the shit that they did to me. And that's unfortunate. You know what I mean? So when you leave this world, it's important to leave this world with a clear conscience. That's not That message is not just for you. It's for everybody. You know what I mean? You want to be, I believe in, in living a a good life and so we don't want to have those things that you know nag at us and make us feel bad and knowing that we did something that we're going to regret for the rest of our life okay yeah i love my stuffies by the way and what i mean by you are the the winner of the rule i i'm not i'm not trying to fight for political whatever but i know that i have rights okay i know that i have rights i have rights to believe who i in, in the things that i believe in i have the rights to live my life you know what i mean and what i was dealing with was just like unbearable because it was being targeted. When you're targeted like this, I understand what the experiment was for and I think it's horrible. And it's very difficult for me, I'm being honest, it's very difficult for me to feel like warm fuzzy feelings um, towards people like you because of the kind of stuff that I experienced knowing that you, you had the power to do it and you didn't do anything, okay? That kind of sends shivers down my spine. But nonetheless, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, relent because cause I don't agree with what you did. I will never agree with what you did, okay? But you know what? Like I said, we can have peace, okay? And I, I'm peaceful within the guidelines of the law. 
Um, okay. Um, you're basically saying I, it's okay to live alone. I think that a lot of people were um, kind of curious as to why I'm living alone. And I do believe that the issue of marriage was kind of like shoved down my throat, mainly because I think a lot of it had to do with Libra 14, right? Um, Libra 14 had a big head on his shoulders. And I also think he, he, he wanted to impress a lot of people, thinking that he was some sort of leader and that he could handle stuff. I, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, women can live alone. All right, and and there's no that there's nothing wrong with it. It is not a sin. The problem when when we're dealing with our natural rights, our natural rights is I naturally have the right to protect myself from people who've abused me. I was a I was a victim, a lifelong victim of a Nazi experiment. Okay, which means Maria needs protection. Maria needs protection. She needs to be able to employ herself. She needs to be able to provide herself shelter. She needs funds. She needs to be able to make sure that she's existing. She has the right to make money, even if she has only $3 in her bank account, or she has $3 somewhere stuffed in a pocket. Okay, I have the right to do that. Okay, and by people sitting here deciding what when it's time for me to get money and when it's not, guess what? That's when we're, we're conflicting because it's basically like somebody's merging into your lane. When you start merging into other people's lane, then that's when it becomes a problem. I have a right to my pursuit of happiness. Somebody merged into my lane of my pursuit of happiness. See, I get that. I, I like that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so you're acknowledging that social media is the playground and I'm obviously running with you guys, meaning like I'm in this popular crowd group of people, even though I choose to stay home and play my games on my computer, on my tablet and do whatever. I mean, you guys are obviously seeking me out and you guys talk about me on social media and stuff like that. Um, you know, this is, this is tragic, really. I feel as though it's tragic. The whole story is tragic. It's very sad. Um, you know, and it's devastating. This is not something to ever be glorified, but it's something that people should learn as a lesson. Um, yes, the experiment was um, unethical. So for people who normalize this sort of behavior, this is their wake up call. Okay, and one of the things uh, um, I believe should coincide of, of our understanding of our laws you know, and things like the Constitution and all of these sort of things, okay? Understanding the platform, our legal rights, okay? Mainly mainly laws, okay? Our legal rights to exist. Um, when we refer to these laws, uh, when I think of our natural laws and our legal rights, are the unalienable rights, I combine them with ethics. I combine those with ethics. That's me, okay? Meaning our behavior, our behavior, how uh, being polite, you know, there's certain people that I have absolutely zero. And I will tell you that it has changed my behavior. I used to sit here and do the yes, sir. Yes, ma'am stuff. I will never address people like that ever again. Why? Because I've dealt with people who never deserve that title to begin with. So I, it's a level of like, <laughs> but it is a level of respect. You know, you, you say your good mornings, you be polite and being polite, being fair, uh, uh, doing my due diligence to do, I guess, follow the minimal that I have to do, meaning like, you know, be a good citizen, don't, don't litter. I don't gossip, okay, but I will tell you, there are so many people who gossip about me, okay, I, but by following on a code of ethics allows me to be, what, blameless, blameless, as far, it's as far as my behavior, now, people may not like my personal views. They may not like the fact that I live by myself. They may not like the fact that I wear certain clothes. They may not like the fact that some people, um, from based on some of these in readings that I got from these tarot people, they were talking about that I live as, as a teenager. Okay, but I'm going to tell you what, no, I have not given and have not buried my inner child. Okay, and I don't encourage people to bury their inner child. Okay, now, there is nothing wrong with listening to music that made you feel happy when you felt when you were living in darkness okay and I will tell you for for people like me and a lot of older people who once lived in light meaning happiness and joy and laughing all the time back in the day and then turning on that music that makes you think about standing in the sunshine or whatever that might be your only light that might be your only light so I'll be damned if I'm going to give that up. I'm going to be damned if somebody's going to tell me stop fucking playing with my fucking toys and whatever. Those are the only goddamn things that bring me joy. So how dare you? You know what I mean? Um, 
the experiment was basically if you cared about something they were their goal was to pry it um away from you so that you left were left with nothing so you were so fucking broken that it was the carry on to the same thing that happened to cb berganza these nazis were evil okay the whole intention was evil now, whether you, at being in a position of the pyramid, understood what that, that the, the, the actual outcome was supposed to be, and if you did, well, guess what? You know what I mean? You really, people need to, as a leader, you need to think about what you do before you do it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so the next person. That would be, oh, Gemini 18. Ha, ha, ha. I do like talking to you. I do. Even in my mind, you're cool to talk to. Um, you suggest switching to maybe another platform. Um, I am not really familiar with what's out there. And so, you know, I'm trying to deal with whatever, you know what I mean? Um, I do, need, do understand that I need to really, really rethink some things, re-strategize some stuff, okay? Because this is definitely taking entirely too long. Okay, um, and it, the longer it takes, the more I start getting upset because we know that we know. Okay, we know the whole experiment. It's a little too triggering. Blah 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 blah. We all know. Anyway, so everyone likes food magic. I think that's cool. It would be really cool because um, I know you you're, you like to cook, and I also know that you are special. You have a special diet, and I think that's cool because you know. Um, I think you know. I think working with fresh fresh food is important. You know, the fresher, the better. I know there's a lot of people who eat, like, they're, like, into, like, the raw vegan thing. I can't say that I'm like that, okay? But I do think it's important to eat as much vegetables as you possibly can, okay? And fruits and stuff like that, okay? It's, it's better for our immune system. <laughs> it's better for our immune system. And I'm not saying, I'm not bashing meat, but we all know meat's a little weird, but... Whatever. Anyway, um, you get the feeling that I'm going to be moving out of my apartment soon. Okay. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be hopeful, but I'm also being realistic. I understand there's a lot of slow people going around. It's people it's, it's, it's like really slow right now. <laughs> slow. Slow movement. Slow movement. And so um, it's not as I'd like to be able to fast forward it, but everything is what it is. So, but if I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's all a mystery to me. You know, I don't, I don't have an idea as to where I'm going or what I'm doing. There's a lot of things that got skewed when it comes to, like, for example, my, my, um, my, um, parents' house. Um, I wasn't really involved in the legal thing. I just know that they, I think they sold it. So, and I think there was a lot of people not really wanting to recognize me as the daughter or something like that. There, there was so many people who fought me who really, really wanted to, like, fuck my shit up just because of the Nazi propaganda. Just because people hated me because they didn't want me to have anything. You know what I mean? And I'm just, I'm shocked. It's like, man, I can't believe. And the, and people who literally had no right or say in the, the matter were involving themselves. And it almost seems as though, not just this, this issue, but just in every issue that related to my life, it was almost as if people were treating me like I had no rights whatsoever. And this is why I was offended. Okay, this is the reason why, you know, I was pissed off with Libra 14, you know, doing what he did and everything else. So, um, you know, they, these people like literally screwed up so much because, um, because of this hate, hate campaign, basically. Anyway, um, so I also get the message that, um, my soul tribe, um, uh, thinks that I, I live in a very peaceful way. And um, I know that it was my soul tribe that kind of were challenging my views, um, specifically <laughs> Libra 14. <laughs> oh, I got to laugh. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know a lot of people want it. They're always, it's the people that want to, you know, pick on other people's views. But, you know, the thing is, is that I understand my rights. I understand that some people have a very big problem dealing with other people who think differently than them, you know, um, and they can't handle it. But oftentimes when people, the reason why they can't handle it is generally because these people have an agenda. Okay. And in Libra 14's case, he probably wanted to financially exploit me. And what else am I supposed to think really? And I feel I'm very threatened by that. 
You know what I mean? And maybe he didn't, right? But unfortunately, he took a step to where I would always have to question that. And that's unfortunate. But whatever. Um, I guess it's not something that I have to worry about anymore. So I'm trying to, like, restructure my stuff and figure out what I need to do. Um, mind you, I will be keeping Patreon. But like I said, I need to figure out something else, too. So, um, yeah, I, was, uh, I think you listened to what I was talking about when it comes to the disembodied souls. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a message that I get. And I got confirmation of this is what happens in the death process. And it's quite fascinating. And I think this is one of the things that um, divides people. Because people have their different religious views. And if you have a certain belief, sometimes it, people feel angry because you believe something. And because they don't believe it. Or whatever and you know the thing is is like when we're going back to the law again okay going back to the law our natural and our legal rights and I think um, Libra 14 just went a little bit too crazy about it but when it comes to things like reincarnation some people believe that we reincarnate some people believe that we go to heaven you know and some people it's, it's the discussion of where exactly is heaven is it in a different dimension isn't it is it in a different state Okay, so there's always going to be these disagreements and people get upset about it and they get upset about it for different reasons. Why? Because, you know, some people feel like death scary and it's already scary enough for them to have to like, you know, start talking about death doctrines and stuff like that. And and some people just feel comfortable with, um, I guess, domination. You know, they want people to see things the way that they they want uh, they want they see it. Because it gives them comfort for several reasons, whether that be power or um, whatever. But, you know, that this is what I believe. I believe that, you know, spirits, when they depart from the body, um, they basically go into a state of whether that be heaven um, or they, I think they just basically float around. Um, and there is a, like a paradise existence. I think that the reason why the paradise existence is there is because there's been a dis detachment from the human vessel. The vessel is what makes us suffer here on earth, personally. But anyway, it is, that's just truth. Anyway, um, and I also get the message that people would like to do comedy skits with me. You know, the funny thing is, it's like, I think I would be laughing so hard that I don't think... I can say my lines, but it's definitely a dream of mine because, you know, I have, you know, a very strange sense of humor. Um, and I and I like to, you know, have those things acted out, you know. Okay, but anyway, I think you're cool. And so anyway, um, the next message is for Gemini 14. And um, so you think that flipping the Nazi experiment is amazing and you liked it and it's an impressive piece of work and I'm very glad that you think so. Um, you know, I could have made it longer. I mean, it was almost four hours long. That's a very long video and it took forever to upload and I did a lot of, you know, redoing on a lot of things and having to backtrack and I guess I could have used more better visuals too, but, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a critic of myself, you know, I'm, but this is what I remember. This is, this is like me summarizing everything that happened before all of this happened, you know. And obviously, you know, looking back, you can tell that I've had my, um, I've started de developing my political views throughout my life, you know, on my opinions on what, on what I believe and what, uh, how I see things, you know, and what kind of makes me feel intimidated meaning like into I think it, it what makes me feel intimidated sometimes is when people put the political spotlight on me like especially they did this at work maybe it was a part of the experiment like what do you believe what do you believe um you know I don't know how it would be a categorized in like a what, what maybe is I don't even know it's independent the the category that I would fit under I don't know um I, I guess I'm just somebody who's law-abiding you know what I mean and I Try to. I understand that because I'm a woman of color, a lot of the things that I would say would always be, you know, debatable. People are always going to come up against it. You know what I mean? Because they're, they're in their mind, they're thinking I'm trying to take over and I'm trying to do whatever, and, and that's not even my mindset. Okay, nor that's one of the, re the just one of the reasons why politics is not something that I'd be into, but mainly because I've always wanted to be more of a spiritual person, and I also understand that some people are not able to wield power. They're not able to, they can have power, but some people are not able to use it wisely. 
Okay. And I, I believe that if I was in a position, I think I would use it wisely. Okay. But I would never want to do anything that's tyrannical. And I would never want to do anything that is considered autocratic. And I never want to do anything that's going to, um, uh, I have to be fair. Okay. I literally have to be able to understand how to distribute the needs of the people equally. Okay without bias, okay? And that's very difficult for a lot of leaders to do. Now, mind you, I have mentioned that I am not biased. And this is what people, a lot of people trip out on. They trip out on the fact that, you know, I have never been affiliated with any sort of, um, you know, group that identifies as anything. Now, I am an African-American, right? But like I said, I believe as me as being an individual, I don't dive, I don't delve into me thinking that because somebody has the same skin color as I do, that they're going to give a shit about me because they simply won't. Okay, I understand we live in a very, very bleak existence here on earth which i believe is the platform of hell i really do think that earth is like the shit it's like it's horrible it's a it's a bad place to be it's a bad place to be okay and um and i also think that you know but we are here for a, a reason of understanding and a lesson to get to our higher selves that's how i look at it and i blend my my spiritual views with my political views. Um, so the flipping the Nazi experiment was, I don't know, I felt as though it was important because after I fit, was able to put together the pieces of the puzzle and start looking back on, on stuff, it makes total sense. It makes total sense, you know, and you sometimes you think, man, how naive could I have been, you know, because, you know, it, it, I guess it is what it is, but it's a trip. But anyway, I'm glad you liked it. Anyway, um, and you view me as a solitary, powerful person. Um, and I, I think that it caused a lot of problems. One of the reasons why um, I was attacked by uh, my previous employer as well as Labor 14 is because of that re reason and the fact that I am so um, looked up on as that way, as a black woman. And um, he, the, the issue is, is that um, <laughs> it's hard because, you know, as a woman of color, I have the right to pursue the ha uh, my pursuit of happiness. Meaning, you know, my pursuit of happiness is my love of the occult and my reasons and my need to be able to make a living on that. Okay. I have a right to. Okay. But we had people who had did what they were obstructing my right this is when they lose their right of their natural rights meaning they did something where they didn't respect my space and they invaded my space therefore it creates an issue with the legal system okay and i mean these people had me snowed under the clusters had me snowed <laughs> under okay they did why because they know they can easily get people on their team to do the legal um, like the, I don't know what you're talking about. They had people basically um, ostracizing me by the campaigns, making it so that it would be difficult for me to have any sort of justice in it. So I, ex I uh, experienced some of the worst abuse that a person could live under as a targeted individual and most importantly, a victim of human trafficking. Um, what other message do I have? Okay, so the last message I have is for... Cancer seven, for some reason in the last, I would say two or three days, you've just been like floating around in my head. I don't know what it is, but I will definitely be following up with you on an email. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I've got a lot of things to do and I will be back with another video sometime later. Take care.